Because the possibility of the genes, if a girl is to marry a boy, you look at how the father behaves. And if the father behaves very wrongly, you don't marry that man because of the possibility of the genes that are not right are there in the boy. So the Canaanite women were of that nature. And this is one thing that the police were doing of olden days. Hallelujah. The police used to do that, the minister. I'm a trained police officer myself. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, during that time, when you were to become a police officer, they will check the family set up there. If there's a Gebengu in your house, you will not be recruited. <laughs> yes, they used to do like that. You know, the Boas, during the apartheid time. You know, you might apply and suit very well and be tall like myself because they needed all tall people during that time. You know, that, that's why even during the parade, when you go, you would not even point your son, fracture, same height and everything. You might pass everything and they will go about searching your family. And if your father or your brother says, Gebengu, you were not going to be recruited into the police. Because there was a belief that the genes are there. Even yourself, you might be one of those. Hallelujah. Now, the Canaanites were just like that. Now the Abraham said to his servant, put your, your hand in my thigh that you not marry a Canaanite woman for my son. Go back where I come from in Mesopotamia. Go there and get a woman for my son. And the servant of Abraham says, okay, my Lord, I will go. What if I don't get a woman there? Should I take your son there? And Abraham says, no, my son cannot go, go there. God has placed this place where I am. Get a woman from there and bring the woman here. Now the servant of Abraham took everything, silver and gold, camels and everything, and took the journey to Mesopotamia. When he came at a place called Mesopotamia, it was during sunset. It was evening. And then he has to squat at the spring waiting for the Canaanite women to come and to fetch water. Because that was the time when they were coming to fetch some water. And when he was there, he prayed to God and said, but these Canaanites, they, they, these women, not Canaanites, they, they, these, these Jewish women who are coming here to fetch some water, they are all look the same. How am I going to know the correct one? And he prayed to God. Hallelujah. And he prayed to God. And his prayer was, Lord, my prayer is that when these ladies come to fetch water, the one that I shall greet and say to her, give me some water to drink, the one who will answer, yes, certainly, I will give you water to drink, but not only you, but I will feed your camels as well. Let that be the woman. Now the time came when the Jewish ladies were coming to fetch some water. But there was this very special lady. After he finished praying. Oh, I wish people would know that. You know what? Pray for God. You know, pray to God when you want a husband. Pray to God when you want a wife. That's why some of us, we get abusive husbands that are going to terrorize us the whole night. Gender-based violence and femicide that is taking place here today. If you ask God, and when you ask God, give God 